Steve here at uh, West Green. Here's my uh, O gauge layout. It's a U shaped layout, 5.4 metres long, 2.4 wide, and I've got a uh, railway turntable, a uh, train turntable, I call it, which I can spin round, which is not exactly 100% complete yet. I've still got to do some work on it, which I know about. It's a work in progress, uh, but it all goes. So the other day I got the, um, this is all my stock by the way. Uh, oh, I've, got, so I've still got other stuff to build. I've got an eight car quad art set to build, or two quad art sets to make eight cars. Uh, and two more of these easy build coaches over there. Uh, and another four locos, which I really don't need for this railway. Oh, one I do, a J15. But anyway, it's basically going to be Great Eastern, based on West Green. I'm actually going to build West Green Station here from plans I've got drawn up. Uh, yeah, so um, because I'm using set, set track curves, I decided to try all my locos because I knew it's going to be very tight. So let's see what runs. Well, with the exception of that, uh, this logo here, that doesn't run at the moment because I've got to put a chip in it and do a bit of completion work on it. But anyway, that's another story. But anyway, I will start with that one. This is an ACE, let's back this up. Okay, this is an Ivet C1. Uh, it's an ACE kit. Um, very difficult to build, I can tell you now. Uh, not the easiest by a long shot. Uh, I've, it's in BR black simply because I haven't got the skill to line it out in Great Northern Railway green uh, livery, I should say, or even L and the R green. So that was my way around it. It's got a, uh, I forget what mode I've got in here. Uh, anyway, it's. Uh, MS, MSC, I think. Yeah, nice. Anyway, nice motor in it. Uh, very heavy, that. So that's number one. Let's push that one out of the way. Let's go to the first loco I built. This is a, uh, a J6 of Hornsey Shed. How's that? This, I bought this from 4Track Models at Harrow. It's now made by Gladiator. Uh, 64266 that's got a uh, Mishima 1833 in it uh, I want to change that uh, I want to put an ABC Maxim gearbox in it like I've got in some of the other locos oh, come on in focus this is my uh, second loco I built this is a uh, J50 slash 3 68930 also a Hornsey shed it runs a uh, Max ABC Maxim Mini Box, very good runner. Yeah, that's uh, this is a connoisseur kit, very easy to build, fabulous, in fabulous kit, fabulous instructions. Let's have a look at the third one. So they're great Norwin engines. This was a Meteor Models kit, Thompson L1, 67721, Stratford Shed. Um, not the best kit, the instructions, I don't know, quality control on the parts supplied and a few other things. I mean, instructions are woeful. It builds up to a good model though. Uh, I believe that's also, uh, I think that's made by Gladiator now. Oh, sorry, could be wrong. Wasn't the best paint job in the world. Just like everything else, I've, my painting's evolved a bit. Uh, did I do the J6? Yeah, J6 64266. Yeah, I've done that one. 
I built this. No, I didn't. It's a depot. Oh wait, Shanta. I just put a uh, TCS EU661 chip in it on the weekend. It's a lovely little model for ready to run. It's my only diesel, by the way. Uh, another great Eastern loco. It's also got a DMR. Sorry, this is also this is a DMR kit. Uh, this is also got a uh, ABC Maxon mini box in it. It's a good runner. No problem getting me in the curves. For uh, my cold trains, no vacuum brakes on this one. Yeah, very nice model that. Easy, quite easy to build. Good instructions, good components. Give that one a 9 out of 10 as far as kit building. Ah, I had to have this L94, X Great Western Pannier Tank. Uh, I had to have this because I love the models, I love the livery. And I was at Farringdon on 6th of June 1971, sort of my last day. Used to chase them around on Friday nights on the underground, 2 o'clock in the morning. I like the way the, uh, it's got magnets and the roof lifts off. Could put a crew in there. Now, this is probably the finest loco I've built as far as paint job is concerned. This is a Warren Shepherd N2. It was actually built for when I was going to do a Great Northern service. That's why I got the quad arts. I think I did a pretty good job on it. I didn't know how to line it. I ended up, I couldn't hand line with a bow pin. So I actually used uh, boiler bands cut in half and then teased it round, getting sections around the uh, front splasher and the sandbox. But uh, it appears to work okay. That's also got a, um, a, uh, Maxon mini box in it. Now, this loco has problems around the curves. It'll run as an 060. Uh, it's this trailing pony. I'll have to do a bit of surgery on the chassis and it'll be fine. I also want to point out the L1 has the same problem with the front bug. It fouls the cylinders. So I might have to uh, butcher the back of the cylinders. This loco is a, uh, I didn't build this, I got this off eBay because uh, Connoisseur didn't make them at the time and still don't. Uh, I repainted this, this is a um, uh, Connoisseur kit, an N7. Uh, it came with a Mashima 1833, it made a horrible noise and I tried adjusting it with using cigarette papers between the gears, it didn't fix it so I decided to put a maximum mini box in that. Uh, so that's it at the moment. Also, I like what I did with this. This So what I did with this, this is one of these locos where you have to make the cab roof removable so you can paint the loco, then paint the inside and put the cab top on. Uh, the kit doesn't really tell you how to do that. Anyway, so I had to make up my own way. So what I did, you can just see it. I put a, a little L bracket on the spectacle plate and then screwed down through the top of the boiler. It's lucky this is open so it doesn't show. I did the same in the back. I put an L bracket and a screw. Now I thought, well, I don't want to put a coal glue a coal load in because if I want to take the cab off roof off for any reason, I'm up... <coughs> Pardon me. I'm up... Uh, Crap Creek without a paddle. So what I did, got a piece of plastic card and shaped it to shape, put some glad wrap in there. Hang on, let's put that on. Put real coal in it, shaped it. That's it. Put real coal in there and shaped it and a uh, bit of, you know, the old wood glue, 50-50 wood glue and water. 
Oh yeah, and the uh, and sprayed it with a wash uh, with a spray bottle. Just dropped it in, wait until it went rock hard. Pulled it out, removed the glab wrap, and bingo. Yeah. So that's it. So this is me uh, me train set, as they say. And uh, I've got one more kit to put. What? Well, what, I only really need four locos for this line. The L1, the J17, the N7, and a J15, which I've got a kit for. Jim began kit. I haven't built that yet. So, um, but the old J17 looks good pulling these Lionheart coal wagons. These are ready to run. I just weathered them all up. Put coal in some of them. And I've got some dap hole ones over there. Yeah, all good. Thanks for watching.